bucks at the end of the 50 laps, a thousand bucks. Now these people, and it, well, I don't know if I want to call them people. When you get them inside these cars, you get them strapped in, and uh, the end result is one thousand dollars. Is uh, well, it's going to be something worth watching. So stay tuned, and we'll be with you shortly. Oh, there, now it's going. Get the heck out. I was wondering why are they standing there with their heads under the hood waiting for it to blow up. Now I understand. It hadn't started yet. Okay, Tommy Thunder on the left and Bubba, Bubba Hickory on the right. Now, what we're doing, if you turned in late, is uh, we got two engines with no oil in them, and it's, uh, see, which one's going to blow first? Uh, we'll turn it back over to Dave Moody. I hope nobody used one of those super lube things I advertised late night on Sundays because we could be here an hour. It's not sounding good. Collected a bit of a rattle. Oh, she seized a little there. Which one? Bubba, Bubba says, I won. I won. Okay, so they're both dead. Who won? Oh, no. Oh, <laughs> This is great. Nobody knows who won. Let's have a little show of hands. All you that care who won. And that's what I thought, too. One lady in the front row. Well, ladies and gentlemen, of all the spectacular promotions in the history of Thunder Road, that was not one of them. See, you, you, you put something in the hands of Tommy Thunder and Bubba Hickory, this is what you get. This, this ladies and gentlemen, is a close second to the night Squire brought the Acapulco Cliff Divers to Catamount Stadium. They spent two hours and 15 minutes building a giant scaffold, another hour and 45 minutes filling this little wading pool. And after a 45-minute public address build-up, one guy in a thong bikini went poop, and that was there. Thank you and good night. Here come the street stocks. Main event of the night. Three wide, 50 laps. God help us, $1,000 to win. Reiterate here what uh, Dave said. Three wide, a thousand dollars for the win. Now this is going to be uh, insane, insanity here at the site of excitement Thunder Road. But we're gonna we're gonna cover it from flag to flag. So stay tuned and back to Dave. We'll pull them out of the cars. We'll introduce them. We'll play the anthem. It'll be a it'll be a moment to make your hearts weep, ladies and gentlemen. I'm sure. Look at Rachel. Rachel Beatty in the Ryan Dodge car has put in bright red tape right across the nose her own name just so nobody thinks it's Ryan. You never know. You don't mind getting nailed for people that hate you, but you don't want to catch anybody else's grief, you know? Oh, this is going to be great. And if you thought this was a Motley crew, I direct your attention to turn one. The street stock pit crews, ladies and gentlemen. 
who almost personally have kept the Adolph Coors Company in business for the last seven years. Oh, my goodness. Ladies and gentlemen, here's the starting line. Ordinarily, we say give each and every one of them a tremendous round of applause, but give each and every one of them exactly what you feel they deserve, I guess. Is not yet, not yet. We're not, when we're, when, oh, never mind. I've confused everybody now. Starting shotgun on the field. Post position number 33, the first ever visit to the WLVB special to an actual main event, the 94 and Rusty DeWeese. Starting 32nd on the field from Milton, Mo Lusan in corner before. 31st to the 07 from Richmond, Don Francis from the Lone Pines Mustang. 30th spot, the Twin City Equipment Dump Truck and Brian Boudreaux. 29th, ladies and gentlemen, the fabulous Baby Huey, Greg Caribou in the 31 from Adamant. Inside Caribou and inside Boudreaux, starting 28th on the field. The point leader at Airborne Raceway in Plattsburgh, car number 59 from Peru, New York, and Skip Liberty. 27th on the outside lane, car number 79, and Dan Nolan from Georgia. Weekly campaigner at White Mountain Motorsport Park in North Woodstock, New Hampshire. Car number zero, Brian Mason, starting in the 26th position. 47, the 47 car will go 25th on the field. William Wiener Hennequin, your driver. Thunder Road point leader will go outside, row eight, 24th on the grid. Car number six and got at Fremont. Number two in the Thunder Road standings goes in the middle row, the Chicken Man, Mike Purdue, car number 60. 22nd on the grid, the Ray Hickory excavating. Car number four, Buddy Hickory. 21st on the starting field. Driving car number 94 from Danville, Travis Calkins. Next on the field, 20th starter, car number 58, Chris Hedges from Montpelier. And inside Hedges, the defending Thunder Road track champion in the Bob's camera and video, car number 19 for Mike Beetle Bailey. Outside row six to go 18th on the grid. Driving the pickup truck from Charlotte, the Menard and Sons, number 50 and Jay Menard. 17th on the grid from Barry, the Adamant Service Center, car number 27 and fast Eddie Patterson. Inside Eddie is Eddie, starting 16th on the field, driving the number 45 from Colchester, Ed Companion in the AT Auto Body, Spirit. 15th on the grid. Driving the 05 pickup truck from Randolph to EA Grandfield, 05 and Eric Wallman. In the middle, starting 14th, one of the top point drivers here at Thunder Road, car number 53 from Fairfax and Kevin Campbell. Starting 13th, the fabulous PMS Racing, car number 5 and Terry Pierce. 12th on the grid, outside, row number four, driving car number 42, Eric Ross from Huntington. Inside Ross, the second generation driver, car number 83 from St. Johnsbury and Tyler Cahoon. Starting 10th, the number 13 from Washington, the Butera and Sons, Mustang Roger Hutchinson. Outside the third row, car number 49, perennial street stock challenger, the 49, Chris Grout. Inside Grout, another second generation driver in the street stock series, car number 92 and Scott Coburn from Barry. Inside Coburn, all torn up on Thursday night here at the road, but back together and running well tonight. From North Troy, David Allen in car number 11. Outside the second row, usually that's a good thing. Tonight, she's no better than six. Driving car number 33. Feature winner in 1999 from Lindenville, Jenny Bigelow. In the middle of row number two, car number 69. 
Through the Heinsberg, Curtis, Curtis, Curtis in the Mustang. Inside the second row. Driving car number 87, also from Danville, Derek Calkins. Well, let's call this the outside, outside pole, or the, the outermost pole, if you will. Car number 71 from Georgia, Vermont, and Adam Maynard. On the inside, outside pole, driving car number 12 from Williamstown, Jerry Nelson. And on the inside, inside, absolute pole, driving a borrowed, actually, probably Dad sh shelled out a couple of bucks for this one, but either way, it works out the same. Driving Ryan Dodges, car number 26, Rachel Beatty, your pole sitter for the fabulous street stock Indy Turbo Nuclear Thrusting Spectacular. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, that's the starting lineup. And without further ado, we ask you to rise for the national anthem. <laughs> comes next. The parts plus $1,000 to win Street Stocks 50 with associate sponsorship from Bior Slaughterhouse and Beauty Salon. Up next. This is as good as it gets right here, ladies and gentlemen. For the street stock troops, this is as good as it gets. No, trust me. <laughs> this will be as good as it gets right here. Today, they are simply street stalkers. Someday, one of these drivers may actually make it to Daytona. Sure, they'll have to buy a ticket. For the infield, but... The field is set. Now, ladies and gentlemen, we'll ask you for your help here. Since there are females in the field, we will substitute the word drivers for gentlemen. On the count of three, we'll give the command. One, two, three. Drivers! Start your engines! Those of you that can! Oh my goodness, what a sound! Oh! Oh, it's like the Super Modifieds coming to life at Oswego. Give a round of applause for the crew chiefs, ladies and gentlemen. Many of them found their way out here all by themselves. That's wonderful. Hurry up, hurry up, we're throwing the green! Officials down in turn one, check some hand stamps down there. We think a few of them might have come over the fence tonight to get in. All right. The Cody Chevrolet pace car in more danger tonight than they were than since the last time Dave Dion left town, rolls away at the head of the field.
Ladies and gentlemen, what a beautiful sight it is. If you are fans of high speed, high performance, precision driving remote maneuvers, what the heck are you doing here? The Parts Plus Street Stock Indy Turbo Nuclear Spectacular. Get, let's give them a bigger thrill, ladies and gentlemen. Let's make them feel big, big, just like the Tour Boys. Give them the big wave off as they come by. What the heck? Granted, three or four of them will think you're telling them to go to the pits, but we'll take that chance. There you go. The only one waving back is Nolan, and he does that anyway. The rest of them don't have a clue what's going on. Well, they're all waving at me. What do I do? Why are the lights flashing? Oh, man, the lights are flickering on. I shouldn't have had that last beer before the feature. Huh? No, no, we checked them all. Well, as many as we could find, anyway. Oh, my goodness. 50 laps, I'm sure, flag to flag without a stoppage. <laughs> the National Guard has been alerted. This just in, Central Vermont Hospital has their emergency room on high alert standby. All right. Whether you like it or not, we're going to turn them loose next time. Rachel Beatty, Jerry Nelson, and Adam Maynard side by side by side in row one. Or as they say up there to walk it side by each. That'll do it. Pace car getting the heck out of there. Here we go. Oh, Lord. Is it too late to stop this? Here they come. They're disorganized. Here we go. Green flag. So far, so good. Adam Maynard on the outside leads it. Adam Maynard. Oh, look out. Jenny Bigelow gets nailed. Oh, what a night. Curtis, Curtis straightened her out. Hang on, Millie. They've all funneled it down to two wide with no casualties. Jerry Nelson, Adam Maynard, Rachel Beatty, and Eric Allen, your top four. Two laps complete without a yellow. Who the fuck it? Two laps complete without a yellow. Thousands of dollars are changing hands on Bud Hill right now. Jerry Nelson in the nose, dirty dozen, your leader. Adam Maynard in second. Eric Allen in third, then Rachel Beatty. Calkins moving on the outside lane. Derek Calkins up to third, up to fourth now. Chris Grout goes to fifth of the 49. Well, Rusty DeWeese is up holding the honor of the LBB's car by running last. <laughs> Jerry Nelson in the 12. Jerry Nelson right now figuring there can't be more than four or five laps left. Jerry Nelson in the 12 figuring there can't be more than four or five remaining. There's three wide in the middle of the pack in turn four. Chris Hedges on the outside. The Mo Roussin is off the pace. Rusty Deweese passes him grudgingly. Pierce puking all over the race 
track, heads for the pitch. Cajon in the infield, Roger Hutchinson both get it early and we stay green in three wide again in turn one. Now it's beginning to pick up. Where's the leader? Who's the leader? There is Jerry Nelson in the 12 in turn one. Nelson in the 12. 49, Chris Crowder, 87, Calkins up to third. Derek Calkins in the 87 up to the number three spot. Challenge for the lead, Chris Grouton now on the outside lane in the 49. Whoop! Scott Coburn into the infield. Rachel may have gotten just a little piece of him there. Ground down to the inside. They'll use the LVB car as a pick. Look out! Oh, don't do that. Jerry Nelson in the 12. Chris Grout, the 49, diving to the inside lane now. Grout on the inside. Nelson on the outside, wheel to wheel for the lead now. Chris Grout takes it over in the 49. They'll begin lapping on the back straight away. Grout puts Brian Boudreau now to lap. Derek Calkins continues to run third and 87. Kevin Campbell, 53, is up to fourth. Uh, don't look away now, because these guys are about exhausted. This is about as far as they've ever gone before. Two more laps, and they're into uncharted water. Chris Grout in turn three, the 49 on the outside lane. Three wide in turn four, David Allen hangs onto it. Five laps to halfway for Chris Grout. Bottled up in traffic. Tries to go three wide, can't do it. Down well goes Nelson now. Grout fights his way out of the box. He'll hold on to the lead in the 49. Ed Companion about to blow up the 45, but he will not go to the pitch until it's over. Eric Allen in the 42 rolling to a stop. Oh, look out, Tyler Cajon's around. Yellow flag. Yellow flag is out as they're parallel parking in turn four. Eric Allen in the 42 and Companion in the 45. Both cars sneezed and died simultaneously. Well, thank God for that, ladies and gentlemen. If this, if this one had gone flag to flag without a yellow, the street stocks would have been insufferable. I mean, even more so. Flying Tiger feature still to come at the conclusion of this one. Chris Grout in the 49 is your leader. Jerry Nelson rides second of the 12. Third is the 87 of Derek Calkin. Fourth is Kevin Campbell in the 53. Fifth, the 71 of Adam Maynard. Eric Wallman is sixth in the 05. Seventh is Fast Eddie in the 27. Eighth to Jay Menard in the 50. Ninth, the 11 of David Allen. And Travis Calkins, 94, is 10th. Everybody else in that line that I didn't mention is lapped. What do you think? 
23 complete, 27 remaining. Ed Companion getting the pushback. Anything can happen from here on, ladies and gentlemen, because at this point, every driver in the field is in uncharted water. They have never gone this many consecutive laps on a racetrack, even in practice. 49 Grout is going to get a couple of lap cars as insurance. The 31 of Baby Huey and the 07 of Don Francis lap cars. The 49 had made his way past them. The 12 had not. So they'll put the 12 of Jerry Nelson fourth in line. He is actually the second place automobile. Well, so far, Squire's most exciting race in history is a little, well, you know, but it's still early. Fatigue will be setting in very soon. Very, very soon. Most of these guys are A, completely out of shape, B, well past their bedtimes, and C, still hung over from yesterday. So they could go at any moment. And three or four of them really have to go potty at the moment, so they could, they could go at any moment. Yes, <laughs> you're right. Thank you. May have a, if we have a yellow for fluid, you'll know what happened. Usually, you know, they only run 15 or 20 laps. Even if you have to go, you can hold it that long. But these 50 lappers are brutal, mister, I'll tell you. They'll all come in saying, man, I know what Dale Jarrett goes through now. Oh, man. What a meat grinder that was. Forty-nine, Grout is your leader. The next two cars are lap vehicles. The twelve of Jerry Nelson is the second place car. Then the eighty-seven of Calkins, fifty-three Campbell, seventy-one Maynard. Your top five. Tyler Cahoon back in eighty-three, he'll fall in at the rear. Well, we've only had three cars fall out of this thing. We are set to go, I believe, next time. I hope these guys remembered to gas up, too. Most of them put five gallons in on their way to the track every Thursday night, and it's more than enough. Here comes the 42. Eric Ross will return. Next time, we'll go green. All those flying Tiger drivers on pit road are saying, please, please, just leave us a little bit of racetrack. That's all we ask. Pace car coming in. Chris Grout and the lap car of Baby Huey. Baby Huey right now thinks this is Winston Cup. He's really got a chance to get his lap back here. Here they come, green flag. Grout in the 49, breaks away with it. The battle now is for second. Nelson in the 12 on the outside. 53, Kevin Campbell right behind him. Whoa, Rachel. Rachel Beatty in the wall. Yellow flag, look out, look out, look out, look out, look out. Don't hit her. Yellow flag, Rachel Beatty and Eric Ross, who hurried back from the pits just to get into that. Beatty got turned around, stuck it in the fence, and got nailed.
Here comes Rachel. She's all right. Or at least wants out of the race car in a hurry. Rachel Beattie in the 26th tonight. Understand they bought that car from the Ryan Dodge team last Thursday. I'm going to give her a minute to catch her breath. Took a pretty good poke here on the front chute. That'll give you a headache, no doubt about it. They're just checking her out now for precautionary reasons, make sure that everything's 100%. Chuck and Francine, she's all right. Give her a round of applause, folks. That's a tough girl. Just like her old man, they're saying, you have to go in the ambulance. She's saying, I'm not going in the ambulance. They're saying, you have to go in the ambulance. I'll get in the wrecker, but I'm not going in the ambulance. They're just going to put her in there, let her sit for a minute, catch her breath. She's all right. Eric Ross in the 42 out of his car. Boy, isn't that the way it always happens? You go to the pits, you fix it real quick, you come back and... Get caught right up in the middle of something. Now, I'll tell you what, credit where credit is due. These guys and, and gals got it locked down in a hurry to avoid making that even more of a problem than it was. Uh, you can see Rachel shorten the 26 car up a little bit. They'll go back to the last complete restart, uh, last complete lap for the restart lineup. With 24 complete, a lap shy halfway. How about a round of applause for Eric Ross as well, ladies and gentlemen. They'll take that car back. Well, Jenny Bigelow got initiated a few weeks ago, got upside down to join the Real Racers Club. Now Rachel's in. She's had her first hard crash. 49, Grout continues to be your leader. The 12 of Jerry Nelson rides second. 53, Kevin Campbell is third. Derek Calkins in the 87. 71, Adam Maynard, your top five. And they continue to realign them.
It is kind of amazing, Dave. 23 laps without a caution. Field is correct. They'll cross over in the back chute. 24 complete, one away from halfway. All right, let's have a little show of hands here. How many think they can go the final 26 without another yellow? All right. How many of you have seen them enough times to know that there's no way they can go the rest of the way without a yellow? <laughs> All right. We're getting a little help here from race control. <laughs> another country heard from. I think they can do it. I don't think they will, but I think they can. Uh, my vote will be five laps for the next caution. Pace car in. 49, Chris Grout, then the lap cars. The 12 is the second place automobile. Here they come. Green flag with 26 to go. Grout again, out to the lead. Jerry Nelson in the 12, around the outside of the lap cars, right behind him, Kevin Campbell. Nelson now, breaking career, three wide on the back straightaway. Three wide, heading for turn three, Fast Eddie thinks again. Oh, Brian Boudreau is going to be in the pucker brush in a minute. Keep an eye on the 96. Chris Kraut, Jerry Nelson, Kevin Campbell, Derek Calkins, and here comes Fast Eddie. Fast Eddie in the 27. From 17th place, Eddie Patterson beginning to roll now. Patterson trying to roll. He goes up the middle. Hang on, Nelly. Challenge for second. 53, Kevin Campbell on the outside of Jerry Nelson. Campbell now to number two position. Keep an eye on the dump truck, Brian Boudreau. That, car, that truck is out to lunch, but he's not about to slow down. Don and Fremont fights the wall and keeps rolling. 49, Chris Grout now being reeled in by Kevin Campbell. Campbell closing in on the leader. Front two cars now, nose to tail, Fast Eddie is up to four, Calkins is off the pace. Oh, in the wall, Bubba! Bubba gets the wall, look out! Bubba pops the wall, and we got yellow. Yellow flag for Bubba! Bubba, who has flattened the right side of the number six, brings out the yellow. Bubba trying to walk, knock the wall down. And like so many before, fails. He's going to wobble at home if he can't. Look out, boys. He ain't steering real good. Not that he really ever does, but even worse now. Uh, I was off a couple of laps with that yellow. Chris Grout in the 49 continues to lead, but now he's got company. Kevin Campbell in the 53 on his back door. 
Campbell from 14th is up to second. Jerry Nelson is third, then Fast Eddie, who started 17th. Eric Wallman in the 05 rides in fifth spot. I, I, I don't think it's going to work, Bubba. I don't think it's going to work. Bubba heading for the pits. He thinks he's got a flat tire. I don't think the Rainbow Warriors could fix Bubba tonight. I think that one's about history. Not that the Rainbow Warriors would want to fix Bubba tonight. Not that the Rainbow Warriors have ever even heard of Bubba. Well, they've heard of Bubba, but not this Bubba. They're up to their keister in Bubba's down south, but up here they're pretty rare. I think, Bubba, I think Bubba's the only, the only Bubba in captivity north of the Mason-Dixon line at last check. No, it's not necessary to come up here and say, oh, my uncle lives in Jefferson, New Hampshire. His name's Bubba. It's all right. We'll take your word for it. They'll place the 13 of Roger Hutchinson. A couple of more fine tunings, and then we're set to do it. Flying Tigers have had time to eat a seven-course meal down there. They need the 43 of Wiener Hennequin on the back. Come on, Wiener! Now the 83 of Ty Cahoon. Come on, Tyler. Give him a little push. That's all right. He won't mind. Now the 79, now the 69, now Rusty, Mo Rusan, and we'll find a spot for the 33 next time around. Jenny's probably not happy now. She's, I wasn't in that wreck. Hold it. I wasn't in that wreck. She'll go behind the 96 car, or truck, of Brian Boudreaux. The dump truck has had an eventful night tonight. That thing won't turn left to save itself, but Brian is refusing to slow down. In typical street stock fashion, he's going to drive it until it drives him, which probably won't be too long. 33 laps are complete, 17 remaining. Chris Grout has led just about all the way, but he's going to have some challengers now. Kevin Campbell in the 53, the 12 of Jerry Nelson, 27 Fast Eddie. Next time we'll go, they cross him over. Don at Fremont, the Thunder Road Point leader, beginning to get himself into contention in the 06. He'll start on the outside of the fifth row. $1,000 to win. I don't know what any of these guys will do with a thousand. Well, they'll drink half of it. You know, you know the old saying, I won a thousand dollars at Thunder Road. I spent five hundred dollars on liquor, four hundred dollars on women, and the rest I wasted. Here we go. This is oh fast Eddie has gone out to lunch here. Green flag. Uh, Fast Eddie took a little nap in the 27, but I think he's okay now. Kevin Campbell on the outside for the lead. He's got it at the start-finish line. The 92 of Scott Coburn is a lapped automobile. Coburn in the 92 is a lap down. Jerry Nelson shows third. 05 Eric Wallman fourth. 
Travis Culkins, 94 in fifth. Baby Huey has blown up, I believe. Baby Huey appears to have blown up another one. Maybe not. Whoa! Beetle Bailey in the wall. Look out for the Beetle! No problem. Keep going, Beetle! Keep going, Beetle! Kevin Campbell now pulling away. Campbell in the 53, pulling away at the front. Looking for his second win of the year. Campbell in the 53 on top. The battle is for third place. Nelson in the 12. Roman in the 05. John F. Primark. Derek Calkins. Fast Eddie in the fence. Ten laps to go this time. Ten to go for Kevin Campbell. Ten to go. Well, look out. Curtis is parked in the middle of the racetrack. Traffic in turn four, 53 Campbell, 49 Grout, up the middle of the three wide sandwich. John and Fremont in the 06 is up to third. Fremont in the 06 riding in the third spot. Five laps to go, next time for Kevin Campbell. Five to go for the 53. Looking for the $1,000 payday. Five to go for Kevin Campbell. in turn four. The third place car got a piece of that. Mason in the zero. Brian Mason, who has come from 26th place to third, he got a piece of it. And Mo Roussand, who made one of his extremely limited appearances of the year in the four, now has torn it all to bits. Jen Bigelow to the pits in the 33. Mason in the zero coming in. Well, the, apparently it's still not over, ladies and gentlemen. Wiener Hennequin and the 12 of Jerry Nelson in attempting to get back to their pits have crashed in the pits. Fast Eddie heading in in the 27. Oh, yes, and the Fremont folks are all excited. He's up to third. Beetle Bailey to the pits in the 19. Boy, this one is not over yet. What it's going to turn out to be is... Uh, when they're crashing in the pits, you know it's, it's a tough night for the Crunch Bunch. It's going to be a five-lap dash for the money.
I know, Dave, it's still anybody's race. You look at those top two. Bo Rusan's car number four will get the assist back to pit road. Kevin Campbell, five laps away from a $1,000 payday. Chris Grout is second. Donat Primon is third. Fourth is the 05 of Eric Wallman. Fifth is Chris Hedges in the 58. Then Mike Perdue in the 60. After that, I think it's Roger Hutchinson. I wouldn't swear to it. Then the 50 of Jay Menard. David Allen, Adam Maynard, Tyler Cahoon. Holy cow, they got enough kitty litter down to turn four right now for the entire tiger exhibit at Granby Zoo. Five laps complete. The 31 of Baby Huey is a lap car, but he's gonna go up second in line because again, the leader had passed him, second hadn't. They're going to do some rearranging. The Roger Hutchinson car will come up next. They're looking for the 07 of Don Francis. Hello, Don. There you go. I'm just trying to help here. Now the 11 of David Allen, Will. The 11 of Allen, come on, David. Now the, now the chicken man, Jay Menard in the 50. We're good, we're good. Three started, 20 remain, ladies and gentlemen, in some semblance of working order. The 69 of Curtis, Curtis, Curtis will go behind Don Francis's 07 the next time by, and then we're set. Jen Bigelow set to come back from the pits. Jerry Nelson, what a tough break for Nelson. He was among the leaders all night in this thing. But you gotta go the full 50, unfortunately. That's one of the few rules we have. Baby Huey, believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, has made a very wise choice. He says, put me on the rear, please. I don't wanna get in the middle of this. A wise choice, but Mark, somebody, John, write this down. Sunday night, at what time? Somebody check their watch. Sunday night at whatever time it is, Baby Huey made a wise choice. Thank you very much, Lewis. <clears throat> I mean, thank you very much, Lewis. 9.55, according to Lewis, which means it's probably about 10.30, but whatever, hey, you know. Thank you, Lewis. He's on Lewis standard time. That voice does cut through the fog, doesn't it? Five laps remaining between Kevin Campbell and Pay Dirt. Now, about all the cars at the front, the 92 the w and the WLVB car are lapped automobiles.
I believe the 07 of Francis may be down a lap as well, but that's unofficial. It's Campbell in the 53, 49 Grau, 06 Premont, 05 Walden, then I believe Roger Hutchinson in the 13, then the 11 and the 58. Here we go. Five laps for all the marbles. Here they come. In turn four, Green is out. Campbell takes the lead again. Fifty-three Campbell, forty-nine Grout, Fremont in the 06. This time three to go. Three to go for Kevin Campbell. to go this time and somebody better make a run if they're going to do it. Two to go for Campbell. White flag ready to fly. Kevin Campbell a quarter mile away from a thousand dollar payday. Fremont coming to the outside looking for second. The challenge on the final lap. Checkered flag, $1,000 payday. Kevin Campbell takes it. Dyer Premont by an old second. Oh, no, no. <laughs> oh, and that's the kind of finish you would expect. Kevin Campbell, Don at Premont, Chris Grout, your top three. Absolutely a thing of beauty tonight, if you had your eyes closed the whole way. Kevin Campbell, Donat Fremont, Chris Grout, the top three in the fantabulous street stock spectacular for Parts Plus tonight. Chris Crow, for hey, nice time. There you go. Give him a round of applause for third, ladies and gentlemen. That had ended on the white flag lap, you'd have been second. You're racing hard, were you? <laughs> racing real hard. We used the tires up real early on. I pushed it too hard. Should have laid off a little bit, but I'll take third over a red car. <laughs> I got to get a little more experience in these long races, huh? Yeah, really. <laughs> I'd like to thank my sponsors, Valley Rental, uh, our Vads, uh, Duxbury Country Store, Nap Auto Parts, all my crew <laughs> keeping this thing together this year. Been tough. <laughs> Say hello to Spencer Baker from Parts Plus with a third place trophy. Chris Crown, ladies and gentlemen, give him a round of applause. Second place by about a paint job at the start finish line. Donat Premont in the 06, the Thunder Hill point leader. Well, I'll tell you, you, you didn't get the thousand dollars, but that won't hurt the drive for the championship anyway. I, I don't care. Uh, <laughs> this is awesome. I gotta, I really thank all these guys behind me, my sponsors and everything. Uh, my father-in-law, he's helped me out big time in this. Uh, Tom Curley, uh, Arts Plus. Oh, my God, this is just awesome. Nice job. He's a little out of breath here. Diane Premont gets the second place trophy. And how about old money bags here? $1,000 Kevin Campbell in the 53 is your winner. Oh, yes. That's more money than you can win on a street stock in a year. Kevin, how about that? Oh, I tell you, that was a pretty good run from where I started. Um, starting in the middle was probably a good spot to start from, but I can't believe we went as many laps as we did without a caution. At least you had something to bounce off on either side, right? Well, actually, nobody even touched me at the beginning, which I was surprised, and because I, I was holding on to that steering wheel waiting for it. Yeah. You happy? Thousand bucks. Where's that going? Right back in a race car? Um, I have to ask my wife. She, uh, <laughs> she does handles all the money. 
Oh, man, it works that way at my house, too. Congratulations. You got some folks to thank real quick. Yeah, I got the one person to thank. I got a proposition tonight. If I win this race, I get to drive his late model sportsman next year. So, Mo, when you get it out, give me a call. Oh, man. Say hello to Spencer Baker. He's got the first place trophy. Kevin Campbell, 53, $1,000 winner. We got another grand to give away to another winner tonight, and the Tigers are ready to chase it. Okay, this is uh, Joe Amro along with Libby Cookson on behalf of CVTV. We want to thank you for viewing. <laughs> Thank you.